Hello and welcome to Millwall Fan TV. This is your post-match analysis for Millwall's brilliant win yesterday against Luton Town and other den, which we did win 3-1. I'll also be covering uh, the Newport County FA Cup match uh, on Saturday um, in this video. So we will go start with the post-match analysis um, for yesterday's win against Luton Town. Uh, firstly, what a win, what a turnaround. Um, a real game of two halves, a classic game of two halves. Um, Gary Rowett uh, picked a, a different team uh, to uh, uh, Sunday. Was it Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday's win. Get your mud days muddled up. Sunday's win against Brentford. Um, he changed. Uh, he kept Aidan O'Brien in the squad. He changed Smith for Brad, uh, Bradshaw for Smith, and he also uh, changed Murray Wallace for Ferguson. Um, if I'm really honest, I was a bit disappointed in the lineup. I thought just to keep it the same. Uh, but Smith played all right actually. I thought. <laughs> I mean, he did. He took Bradshaw off in the. He took. He put, put Bradshaw on in the about the 39th minute, just after they scored uh, for Pierce. Great decision. It was really bold um, of him. I mean, obviously managers don't like to do that, but took the club captain off, which obviously isn't ideal. Um, but what a decision it turned out to be. I just think we we, we looked good from then. You know, they scored a sloppy header, sloppy goal, um, which is really disappointing from our from our point of view. Um, we came out fighting in the second half. We looked exactly the opposite to where we did against Barnsley. I thought, oh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to dominate and they're going to nick another one on the break. But no, we didn't. We didn't even let them out. We didn't, they didn't even have a, set, a, shot on, a shot on goal in the second half. They definitely didn't even got into our box. Um, we looked really good. First goal came from Bradshaw. Knocked back for Bradshaw. Uh, second goal was a, a great finish from Conor Mahoney. We'll get to Conor Mahoney in a minute, but a great finish. And the third goal was a brilliant uh, ball in from Mahoney to Smith. So let's talk a bit about Conor Mahoney, shall we? Um, he's been a bit of a disappointment since he's come in, but he's shown some glimpses. He's shown some glimpses right at the end of the Forest game, which he nearly took on their, their team and scored. Um, and yesterday, what a finish. I, I mean, that was a fantastic way to, you know, start the year. And hopefully, he's going to come good now um, as the transfer window opens. So we, you know, we're looking at some targets, but... He's been brilliant. He, that was brilliant yesterday. Fantastic run, fantastic finish, fantastic cross into the box. A fully deserved a free one win. And as we stand, we're in sixth place. You know, we ended the game. We ended the day in sixth. Um, we ended the game in sixth. But you know, I thought, ah, oh, here we go. The other teams will get a good result. Other teams will get good results here. No, they didn't. What's the chances of all four teams losing? They all lost, and we managed to stay in sixth. And we will stay in sixth for another week and a half. Unless um, Charl unless Swansea can win against Charlton tonight at the Liberty Stadium, um, if Swansea get a point, it won't be enough to go above us. So you know, weird thing to say this, but I'm kind of hoping the train spotters get a point, get a point tonight. No more than that. We don't want them to get a win, but hopefully they hit nick a point tonight. You know, we're twelve points clear of them, 18, 17 points clear of the relegation zone. What a turnaround that is, and we're in the top six. Uh, fantastic from us. Brilliant win yesterday. Fantastic win. But let's, without further ado, let's get straight in to the Newport uh, preview, uh, pre-match prediction. So I expect a much changed side against Newport. Um, I expect, I'll go straight into my starting eleven. So I expect, uh, I do expect Luke Steele to start tomorrow in his last game for the club. Um, McCarthy at right back, I expect, drop uh, Romeo, bring McCarthy in. I expect him to play Pierce and Murray Wallace at centre-backs. And at left-back, I think he's going to start... Do we start T and Chop? I think he's going to start Fergie. Fergie needs a bit of uh, playing time, and I think he's going to start Fergie. Now, in the midfield, he's going to drop Williams because he needs to give Williams a break. Um, and I think he's going to play... Let's go Malumbia Mitchell on the right. I think he's going to play Skalak on the left, uh, Mahoney. And he's going to play two strikers of Bodfast and, and Bradshaw. Uh, looks sounds a good team to me. Hopefully, if it's, hopefully it'll be true. Um, but that's my starting line -up. That's what I would go with. Um, we'll have to see what Gary Rout goes with on the day. Um, my score prediction for tomorrow's game is... Uh, Saturday's game, sorry, is a 3-0 Mill win with goals from Bradshaw. And two goals from Bradshaw, one from Bob Varson. Without further ado, I'll allow some more Millwall fans to let you know their score predictions. There now. Millwall Fan TV, this is your pre match prediction for Saturday's FA Cup early kickoff time at the Den against Newport. And 
to be honest, it's a boring game. I think only one stand is open. It's not going to be that great of an atmosphere. They won't take that many, I don't think, from South Wales. But um, if I'm honest, I don't think we're going to win. I can see us losing. I can see us drawing one all and taking it to a replay at their place and lose. But if we're going all out, I can see it being a four nil Millwall win with a Bradshaw hat trick and then Jed Wallace getting one. But if I'm honest, I don't think he'll play that that too good of a lineup. So I'm going to say one one draw and go to a replay. So that's it from us. Um, you know, we hope you enjoy the game. I hope you get down to the den. I mean, I think there's still quite a few tickets left, but um, you know, the boys need as much support as they can. Obviously, a, a low level cup game. Um, only the only the uh, uh, the Barry Kitchener stand is open for that game, but if you can get get down and support the boys, um, you know that's it from us. Uh, if you do want to sponsor the channel, uh, go behind here, drop me a message on Instagram or Twitter. Um, I'm open to that. Um, good win against Luton, fit in sixth. Pros match to the Newport game will be up probably Sunday, and then I'll have a break for the pre-match for Stoke. Without further ado, come on, you Lions.